It's five o'clock somewhere. Country artists love singing about drinking. It's been a big part of the genre for a long time, going back to the days of Hank Williams and even before. There's a tear in my beer cause I'm crying for you, dear. These days, alcohol is mostly used to paint a picture of partying, hanging with your friends, and having a great time. But it's also frequently used to talk about love, or something like it. The second she walked through the door, I caught a buzz. Trying to find love, trying to forget it, or in more crass terms. If I'm lucky, I might get laid. Let's break down how alcohol is used to talk about romance, starting with a true country staple, beer. In this 2013 Blake Shelton song, beer is an essential part of the chorus, and the lyrics get at another common theme. Drinking beer with your friends is just a fun and innocent part of everyday life in small southern towns. Yeah, the boys round here, drinking that ice cold beer, talking about girls, talking about trucks. Yeah, plus it's a big part of dating. Luke Bryan sings about how beer makes women more attractive. Taking a sip, swinging your hips. Girl, you're looking so fine with your beer in the headline. And Old Dominion straight up compares beer and sex. I just want to roll around with you like a beer can in a truck, beer. Let's move on to the hard stuff. Whiskey, another drink of choice in country lyrics. Whiskey's supposed to drink, baby. Unlike beer, whiskey takes on a more melancholy tone. It's used to drown your sorrows after heartbreak, or as a way to forget about the girl who left you. I don't care what his name is. Girl, it is what it is. Cole Swindle does this in Ain't Worth the Whiskey, as does Chris Stapleton in Whiskey and You. But I'll be old. By noon. That's the difference between whiskey and you. Some groups like Lady Antebellum even name drop specific brands. What I'm really needing now is a double shot of crown. And lastly, we come to wine. Da, 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 da. Probably not the drink you'd expect to hear about in a country song, but it's making its way into the mainstream. Another weekend, another box of wine. In Carly Pierce's Hide the Wine, it's a metaphor for loving someone who's bad for her. Because maybe I just don't trust myself with you. I better hide the wine. And then there are the songs that aren't as much about a specific drink, but just the general sentiment of getting dumped and getting drunk. With that, we leave you with Dirk Bentley. I'm getting drunk on a plane. Buying drinks for you.